Hello everyone, my name is Brian Chapanier. Today we're going to be making a new um, model and swapping out the Kako Demon, Keiko Demon, whatever you call it, uh, model from Doom 3. First thing we're going to do is head on into uh, Mac Script and Run Script and head to the Scripts folder. And inside here we have Durton's MD5 Importer. You don't have to do this stage, but we're going to do it just for the sake of it because it creates cool fire effects as an end result. Um, you could just create a bone. But anyways, uh, go to doom3world.org and download Durton's MD5 Export and MD5 Importer. Click on MD5 Importer, open it up, and we're going to import MD5. And then from here we head to the C drive where I've extracted the contents of the PK4s from Doom 3 onto the C drive into this folder here. And we will go into uh, Models, MD5, uh, Monsters, Keiko Demon, MD5 Mesh, open it up. And uh, there it is. <coughs> now we can uh, just click on the mesh itself and delete that. And what we have left are the bones that are beneath it. And again, you didn't have to do this because you can just create, just create a, a single bone for what we're going to be doing here and it would have sufficed. But uh, as it is, this is how we're going to do it um, because again, it'll allow little cool fire effects around the side here. So we have the uh, bones from the original Doom 3 Keiko Demon inside. We will create a geosphere and we will create that geosphere here. Uh, sure, it looks good. And we will make that geosphere a uh, Octa and uh, call that done. And um, now we will head on over to this area here and the geosphere, right click, turn it into an editable mesh and we will turn on my buttons and we will add an edit mesh to the pile, to the stack here. Come on over to uh, the faces and we will select these uh, front faces and we will detach them. Detach them to an element, OK. And uh, turn on the uh, snap to angle as well. And we're going to rotate it so that it's facing us in front, like such. And we will move it, W on the keyboard. We'll move it out of the way like that. And now we will select the uh, other faces here. And we will rotate them so that they're facing that way. Again, these ones won't, well, I didn't even say it before, so for the first time, these ones won't matter because uh, they're just the back of the head. So we're going to make it really tiny and we're just going to take that now and drag it over to here like such. Put it so we see everything on screen and uh, we'll turn off from selecting the faces. Now that that's selected like such, we'll add a UV map to it and we'll make sure the UV map is in the Y and we will make it fit and we'll add an unwrap UVW and unwrap UVW lets you swap up the uh, fix up the UVs in accordance to the texture which is now going to be created and applied um, we will uh, go into the uh, what do you call this area? utilities and select textporter which is a free download offline make it 512 512 um, I like to work with all lines turn that off uh, constant of white and pick object. We pick the object and we save the object. We'll just save it to uh, right here and we will call it uh, my Keiko Demon Wire. And I'm going to control C this just for later. Save it. OK. And uh, now we're done here. We're just going to take a quick run into Photoshop. OK, here we are in Photoshop with the uh, picture open. We'll uh, make that yellow. We'll select the tool here. We're going to add a layer, just so we're working on layers instead of the original. And uh, click there. Whole things become such. We're going to turn down the opacity. We'll uh, make this black. OK. I could have just used letter X and worked with the one behind so that we could have one that was yellow all the time. And when it was black, letter X swaps them back and forth. And now we're going to draw onto there. Let's get the uh, brushes. Select a decent sized brush that you'll be able to see. Throw another layer on just for the sake of it. And uh, make a happy face there. Make a happy face there. And one there. And we'll 
select a little smaller one and draw some eyebrows on it. That's actually going to stretch way out behind because of where it touches, but it doesn't really matter. Come back down to this and uh, turn it the wrong way. And there we go. There's our uh, face. We're going to save a copy. We'll be saving that to the C uh, C texture is my Keiko Demon, and we're going to call it my Keiko Demon underscore D dot TGA. Save. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to image size, reduce it, make it 128 all the way around, and file, save a copy in the same spot. See uh, textures, my Keiko Demon. Okay, okay. So now that we're done here, we can head back into 3D Max. Inside 3D Max, letter M, this brings up the materials. Uh, click on the box here, bitmap, head to the uh, C, textures, my Keiko Demon D, open, stick it on, show it inside the viewport, and uh, there it is. So now come on back to uh, the uh, creation area here or I should say the modifier area. Um, <coughs> drag this down, turn off edit mesh, and the ball is now in place. Uh, happy face. There he is. He always stretched out, and that's where you would come in and work the UVs to uh, fix it so it wouldn't be like that, but we're not going to bother with that. You can figure it out yourself. Um, right click on here and collapse all. It's now become an editable mesh with the uh, texture and UV mapping still in place. So we can save this and we will save it as my Keiko Demon 3. And now what we do is in here using the skeleton that's already in place via the original MD5 import, we are going to letter H on the keyboard. First we're going to deselect everything, letter H on the keyboard, and we're going to select the bone called head select. And, uh, well, no, no, forget that. First we're going to select the uh, back on the head itself and add a skin to it. And now that we've done that, we can uh, hide the buttons. And we want to add all the bones, select them, they're all in there. And now we're going to come here and we're going to select the one that's called head. And we are going to edit the envelopes and to edit the envelopes we're going to go Alt W and uh, actually let's pick a different view this one might be better um, we will select and let's see, no that's just going to move those I'm in expert mode but I don't know what I'm doing here We'll go back down here. I'm on the body, so that's no good. That's no good. <coughs> I want the head. And with the head selected, hopefully I can just stretch those all the way out like that. No, give me back the head. Stretch those all the way out like that. Good old W. And it looks like it's uh, encompassed all of it except for one or two there. So there, now it's got it all. Um, and with that done, we can turn off uh, doing the envelopes. And uh, head back to Alt W. Now what it's doing there, I guess, is because of the extents there, they're all set up. But uh, with that in place, we can just click on the mesh and go to Max script, run script, head back to C 3D Max scripts, uh, MD5 export, open, and we're exporting. We'll just right click here, set to zero, put it to one, because it's going to export an animation as well. We're going to export into C models, my Keiko Demon, there it is, save, yes, and we'll add the animation in there as well, but we're not going to create an animation. And with that, we are now done in 3D Max head over to the C drive.
Okay, we're on the C drive. Uh, first thing we want to do is head into uh, the models area here, my Keiko Demon, and we're going to just delete the Atom. Don't need it. Uh, my Keiko Demon md 5 mesh. Open that up, and you can see we have number of meshes, just one, so we're only looking for one shader. And the shader is going to be called my Keiko Demon text. File, save. We're done here. We head over to the uh, materials folder, and here we have the My Keiko Demon material m.mtr. Already made it. This is what it says, and here's where it references my Keiko Demon dot text. It's not the name of the file itself. It's only referenced in here, so you can have multiple different textures, different names, and they all mean different combinations of uh, e the editor and the diffuse and the specular and the local. Um, we're only using this. This is what it looks like back to uh, materials. Uh, now we just come on up to the definition and the mykeiko.def. This is what it is and it's my model uh, called my Keiko Demon, and the mesh references the MD5. Um, it's inheriting the properties of the monster flying Keiko Demon to an extent and uh, it's referencing model my Keiko Demon, which is right here. So this here is looking in on itself. Uh, that is the uh, what you have to do here and then we can just material models and textures and we will call this add it to a zip include system note we want save pool path info and we will call it my Keiko hmm I seem to have cap locks on so we will go turn cap locks off and go hey it's Sunday morning uh, save full path info, add, and uh, there you go, save full path info. My Keiko, we cut this out of here and we head to the Doom 3 folder. Doom 3 folder, we're inside of the base, we can right click and paste, and we get rid of this one because it has other stuff in there already, and we will rename this to PK4, and with that we can now go into the Doom 3 editor. Okay, we're inside the Doom 3 editor. Just right click inside of here, uh, scroll on down until you find my Keiko Demon. There it is. Um, looks a little big. We'll raise that up and uh, stick it over here. And it's going to be facing away from us, which is good. It doesn't look like anything here. And it still won't when you do a cam build and all that, but uh, when you go into game, it'll be fine. So with that in place we will uh, just BSP and check it out inside the game. Okay, inside the game there you can see it, uh, it's in place. Turn on the flashlight, shine it on it. There it comes. It's got the uh, flame effect and everything. I don't have a monster clip so he's sinking to the floor. He's got the smokes but the one thing you notice is he doesn't attack. He just sort of annoys you. Um, well, it is just a happy face, so consider it a friendly cyber demon. And when you figure out how to make it actually launch its missiles and that at you, let me know too. Other than that, go and uh, have some fun.